All right. Made it to Brussels. Here we are in this this amazing hotel. But better. This amazing hotel. Nine Hotel Central, something like that. I don't know what it's called. But check this room out. It's like the reception. It's like someone's front room. It's pretty cool. And some big, big corks. They obviously like the beer and wine here. Uh, but I'm just waiting to check in. As soon as I've done that, you know what I'm going to go and do. Welcome to another hotel room with me, Chris Pritchard. Very minimalistic. That's what I'm going to use for this one today. Minimalistic and I'm sharing with someone who I've never met yet. Which could be awkward, but thankfully I've created um, a, a large enough gap as to not intrude on his personal space and him for not to intrude on mine. If you know the person right, if you're friendly with them, then there, there can be a, a gap up to uh, minimum 10 centimeters, okay? If you've never met the person before, there needs to be at least a gap of 20 to 30 centimeters between beds, otherwise, it's just plain weird, isn't it? This is my view. Building over there, don't know what it is. It looks pretty important though, because there's flags and ting up, two flags outside of it. Could just don't put window, could I? There you go, look at that, Bosch. Yeah, Brussels there for you. Some more Brussels for you. All right, if I can drop my phone down there. Oh God, that's pretty high, that is. So yeah, anyway, welcome to welcome to crib. Nice fancy white TV, curtainette to store your belongings. Hmm. Maybe there's a woman that comes in and like does an, an erotic dance behind that. I don't know. Here's my favourite room of the. The, t the hotel rooms, nice size toilet, nice size. Oh, do you know what? I might actually jump in bath in a bit. Um, stone, I don't know. And <sighs> how many McDonald's I'm, uh, I've been stowing away. Hello, everybody. Welcome to City Escapes with me. Chris Pritchard. If you're thinking about getting away on a mid weekend break, I don't know what a mid weekend break is. That's like half a day, really, isn't it? What better place to spend it than here in Brussels? Random kids on the street. Churches. This church was built in 1709 by one man and his dog. It took them Four months from first installation to completion, but she bloody loves it. She got it, she nailed it. That's going on the old Insta. Bye. Anyway, the main reason I'm out here is not because I am uh, sightseeing. Business meeting. Because I had to find one of these bad boys. I keep going everywhere. Well, I go to various different places in Europe and I keep forgetting to buy one of these. Ish. Someone tried to scam me for one for seven euros. Five euros, deal mother. Yes, and I'm just walking back. Did a promotional video on that bad boy once. Not that actual scooter, but electric scooter. One of the first electric scooters in the UK that was. Uh, check out the promo video here now. Ish. The rider can load the battery via the integrated charger at a usual 230 volts household socket or a special charging station. A completely discharged battery can be recharged in less than three hours, depending on the current rating. The same lithium ion storage modules as in the
literally just stepped out of my hotel and right over there is the bloody brew dark bloody mega venue number five Venue number five. Same old brew dogs. Same old, same old. Q's over there. Find him. Wash. Q. Fleshlight boy. <laughs> Might as well go home, mate. It's, it's already finished, we're actually packing down. <laughs> Hello. You all right? Night number five. Brussels will be coming at you. And one thing that they've got here is to kick a smart bike. Decent. Here we are. Here we are. Imogen's there. Melody's there. And then another young lady on the end. This is the first and probably the only ladies here of the evening. Imogen, semi-finalist in the Swift Academy. He loves it. He bloody loves it. Five B. Louis stressing a little bit. We're late for the train. And he can't find his train ticket. Oops. Made it. See? Easy money. Boom, off the train. And now we're in Paris, we're in a brand new country. First stop, Louis, where are we going? Probably for a pizza. We should also wait for Hamish. Yeah, let's wait for Hamish. I think he's gonna be a while. He strikes me as a slow one. He does, yeah. Seems like he's got all the he time in the world. It takes a while. Are you that much taller than me? Six foot man. That's why you look really bad on my bike. Oh, do I? Yeah, your bike looks tiny. Here he is, look. He's caught up. 
Yo. Hello everyone and welcome to day two of sightseeing with Pritchard and here we are at this magnificent monument dedicated to uh knows. No idea. <laughs> Any idea Hamish? Egalité. Oh yeah. Um, I thought à so. la de la République française, uh, la ville de Paris. No idea. <laughs> no idea. He loves it though. Lion. Cleaner. Louis. He's in here okay. I'm gonna get him a fresh piece of sandpaper. He's just got one tiny bit of sandpaper for this whole thing. I mean, this is where the issue is here. Look, there's some what you want, paper though, sticker and a smile. You want to grab a deck of mini mouse or something? Yeah. Right in there. There you go, sightseeing with Pritch. You absolute lucky swines. Here we are once again with Chris Pritchard and his guide to Paris. Statues, the lights. Place for uh, Scottish, uh, international Scottish um, field hockey player there. Missed out on the commie games though. Got injured, so he couldn't go. I kind of feel bad because he is a proper athlete. He's like got abs and everything. And then there's me, fat, fat Pritch, just waltzes into the Commonwealth Games. But hey, anyway, France in it. France. Boys are out in town, having a large one. Morning run. Morning run. Yeah. Eight a.m. We're running. Where are we running to? Uh, Greavesy. Uh, some big triangle thing. A <laughs> <That> big triangle. <laughs> Well, we're going to attempt to run to uh, <laughs> attempt to run to the uh, to the Eiffel Tower. Here's the boys. That's where we're going. Eiffel Tower over in the distance. I'm not going to lie. I'm dying just a little bit. He's hurting me. I'm just about with him. Here's Patrick. I dropped him. I dropped him, man. Eh? Oh. Done. He's there. Solid run, that Louis. Nice one, mate. Good work, boys. Sorry, I uh, I kept you up a little bit, but there we go. He feels dear. And then, right there, my phone broke, so I have no footage of any of the event in Paris any of the event in Barcelona and I can only apologise. I'm sorry. However, they both were amazing. If you were there, you know it. You saw it. It was bloody mega. Right, Friday. We're back at it. For the first, right, this is the first time I'm going to be doing a Crank It Up tour in the UK. We're in London on Friday. Listen, right, if you're from the north, if you haven't got time to go and get your jabs and all that jazz, don't worry. We're coming back up the north in the middle of November, 18th, 19th, 19th, 20th. I don't know. But anyway, we're going to Manchester and we're going to Edinburgh. So if you don't make it down to London, you can potentially still make it to one of those venues. And if you're in Europe, I don't know, say Budapest, Florence or Nice, then there's a good chance you can see us there as well in the next coming weeks. Make sure you do all that jazz like, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Leave bloody good comments as well. I want some nice comments down below because my arm's hurting. Right. That's it. See you in London, everybody. Boosh.